Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. Well, Matt Jones is negotiating gambling debts right now as he heads back to the bluegrass after a week-long drive to Las Vegas. It was an unbelievable trip for him, capped off by that game, which was unreal between Kentucky and North Carolina. Matt had plenty to say about the win, so take it away. When we made our drive all the way out here to Las Vegas, sponsored by Don Franklin, we had no idea what we were going to see. The goal was really the trip itself, not even the game, and the ability to maybe produce some good shows on the road. But instead, what we saw was one of, if not the, best regular college basketball season game I have ever seen in my life. The atmosphere here in Las Vegas was intense. The arena was packed, probably 60% Kentucky fans, 40% North Carolina, and they were put on a show that was absolutely unbelievable to watch. Obviously, Malik Monk was the big star, 47 points, but a lot of other stuff went into it as well. Huge shots down the stretch, big plays, a style of offense that was fun to watch. It was a game for the ages, and everybody that played in it said so afterwards. Like a pickup game. <laughs> that's what that's what it feel like to me. My teammates set me up well to get every shot I wanted, so I, I was just able to knock it down. But I mean, it's just fun, fun to play like that. This game was what it should a game should be. They make a play, you better make one. They miss a shot, you better come up with one. And and you can't panic. You gotta, you know, do your stuff. Those are games you live for. Uh, you know, we always we want to play close games. Honestly, for me, close games are a lot more fun than blowouts. So. Uh, just playing a team like that uh, and guys like that, Joel was one of the best players in his class and uh, I actually played with Justin uh, in AAU. So just playing against those guys, I mean, it's fun, you know them, but on the court is competition and, uh, and I feel like that's why we play the game, just, just competition like that. Part of what I was impressed with about this game is that North Carolina really knew how to exploit Kentucky's weaknesses. Justin Jackson is a guy that Kentucky simply does not have an ability to guard. He's so good at getting to the basket, he's so versatile, he can rebound, that he's almost too quick for Kentucky's bigger perimeter defenders like Derek Willis and Winyan Gabriel, but he's also too tall for the smaller guards like Isaiah Briscoe. It made him almost impossible to guard. Then you take Joel Berry coming off an injury who was able to hit huge shots down the stretch and occasionally harassed Aaron Fox. But yet Kentucky found a way to still score. 103 points against anybody is impressive, but against a team of athletes like North Carolina, it even takes a higher level. I was impressed with the fact that when Carolina took the lead, I thought they would lose. Yet Monk comes down and hits a three, a massive shot. Carolina scores again, and then Monk comes down and hits another massive shot. That's the kind of stuff winning championship teams do. I usually take the first shot of the game, and if I make it, I know I'm going to have a good game. I was in the flow, so I, I wasn't nervous at all. I, I knew I was going to get my shot off how I wanted to, but uh, I was just able to knock it down. Foss gave me a great pass, and they sent me two great screens. After he hit that shot, I was like, man, man, Malik, Malik's crazy. Uh, he had, I think, 47. So when, when, somebody's, when someone's hot like that, you just keep giving them the ball. So I'm, I'm looking at Cal. One time they wanted me to take him out. He had like six in a row already. And then he scored again when I was sitting down at the, uh, at the scores table. And I'm like, y'all still want me to take him out? And we changed it. But uh, man, <laughs> he, he had a heck of a game. Well, it's not just that he had a bunch of baskets. He made like daggers that gave us a chance. I made two players in our locker room stand up and come up and hug him because he saved them. I've been to a lot of college basketball games all over the country, Rupp Arena, road games, etc. When I think of the ones that were the absolute best, a few come to mind. The Kentucky game at Indiana a few years back, they won on the Christian Watford shot, was one of the most exciting atmospheres I was ever a part of. A few years back in that same season when Kentucky beat North Carolina in Rupp, I remember the Anthony Davis block being one of the loudest moments in the history of Rupp Arena. You can go back when Jody Meek scored 54 against Tennessee. A lot of those games are special, but I'm not sure I've ever enjoyed a basketball game more than this one. It was exciting from start to finish. The style of play was unbelievably fun to watch. This is what college basketball should be. Two teams getting up and down the court, letting the players play. Coaches don't overcoach, and they just see which one was the best. On this night, it was Kentucky, but it easily could have been Carolina. But everybody who was here will remember it. I thought when we took this trip, the story would be the trip. The Buddy Holly Museum, the Roswell Museum, doing the show out in the hurricane the other day. But in the end, the best part of the trip was the game itself. Kentucky and North Carolina lived up to all the hype and even exceeded it. And I can't believe what we witnessed. Everyone says we're young, but uh, we came out, prevailed over, I mean, a top, that, that's a top five team in the country. If you watch that game, if you never liked basketball, you're going to start liking basketball. Like, wow, if that's what it is, I'm going to watch that.
After a week on the road, it was an amazing trip. I want to send it back to Lee Cruz and Mary Jo and say, I bet you guys wish you were here. Yeah, in a way, because I saw your hotel room on Twitter. Yeah, and it looked, sweet. Yeah, right. it was pretty amazing. But I'm a little surprised one of them is not going to come back with missing teeth or a baby or something. Right. Yeah, Louisville's not going to hold the same luster as Las Vegas. They're not going to be gambling <laughs> as showgirls. Maybe church bingo and a hot brown. Really? Have yeah. you heard of Louisville? I think it's probably very more similar than you think. Well, maybe. Debauchery at both places.